Oh, hey y'all. This is Joe out here at the cabin at St. Bernard Acres. Sitting on my porch. Uh, two things I wanted to get accomplished this weekend. My goal. They're simple ones. I wanted to get the paper on the roof and the deck board down. And I'm sitting here on the porch, so the deck boards are down. And you'll see we got paper on the roof. So I'm completely dried in. No more rain's coming in at all. And that can all dry out. Then we can start working on the inside some. Uh, I had plans today. Originally, Jeff was going to come out and do the paper on the roof. We were going to, he was going to help me do that. And I came out yesterday to finish up all this because I knew we'd want to put the ladders on here and, you know, uh, I need to get it all secure and tight and, and, and solid. So I did that, you know, got that all set up. And my neighbor, Bobby, said he would put the paper on for me. Because he's a roofer. That's what he, I mean, you know, that's what he does for a living. So I had the paper here. And uh, I was like, okay, that's great. So I went home yesterday. I did the video explaining that and, you know, showing you I had gone and got the deck boards. And had got all my, my uh, joist hangers. Everything secured in the frame of the of the porch, and I got home. And I called Jeff because I, you know, I, I edited the video, I uploaded it, uh, and Gary saw it. And Gary has been instrumental in the building of this cabin. This cabin would not be what it is without Gary's help. I'm telling you, uh, just. Uh, uh, a tremendous amount of help and knowledge and advice and just a really good guy and a good friend um, but he texted me to uh, let me know you know if I needed an extra set of hands today knowing we were gonna you know work on some stuff and I know Gary loves coming out here and working on he loves doing this kind he's retired like I will be soon and uh, Loves doing this kind of stuff. So, anything Gary wants to do out here, Gary can do out here. Uh, this cabin is as much his as mine. Anytime he wants to use it, it's his. Uh, you know, one of those kind of things. So, uh, I, you know, he said he had a nail in one of his tires and he would get that fixed and be on his way out. So, I called Jeff. I said, Look, Bobby's going to do the. Uh, paper on the roof you, you don't need to come out and help with that part of it so you know Jeff could sleep in and I touched base with Gary yep he's getting the tire fixed he'll be out here so I got here we did the paper on the roof uh, I'll show video I've got video of that and video of working on this that I'll show you when I'm done talking here if I ever get done talking. Uh, well, actually, I have to hurry because I don't have much battery left. The uh, When we were doing the roof, we got finished with the roof. And I thought I went over and turned the camera off. But it kept recording, you know, another hour of nothing. Uh, so, I, we got that part done. Got the roof done. I, I went and looked at my phone. Gary had texted. This is Sunday, uh, August 6th, I want to say, um, and there's no place open to fix his tire today. He's not going to be able to get his tire fixed until tomorrow, and his uh, spare is such, you know, the way they are these days, it's such a pain in the butt to uh, get to. So, uh, yeah, today's August 6th. <laughs> Don't be that long by my calendar. Uh, anyway, he couldn't get his tire fixed today, so he couldn't make it out. I'd already called off Jeff, so, you know, I didn't pick him up. So, 
and Gail stayed in town, you know, her wrist is still kind of sore. She's doing well. She went to the doctor Thursday. Everything's looking good. But it's sore. Because uh, I think she's been trying to do too much. You just, you can't get her to stop. And, uh, uh, so she's there. So I was basically out here by myself. So I went ahead and got all these down. These were all warped and, you know, my primary concern was getting them square, getting them all up against each other. And I can come back out at any time and finish the screwing down because everything is solid now where it needs to be. I'll come out when Gail is mowing the next time and to screw everything, put the final screws and everything. Uh, and now I've got to trim a little bit. So, but it's all good and, and solid. <laughs> Nobody's going to fall through it now. So Gail may actually get up here. Um, and that's the two projects I wanted to complete this weekend was getting the, the roof paper on and getting the porch boards on uh, making it usable and that's what we have so it was a good weekend and next week I'm going to make the stair stringers and put the stairs on the end of it I think what I'm gonna do is have the stairs over on that end and this is all going to be post for, to support the roof, this is going to be covered. Got a post and rails along there and along this side, and then that side will be the steps going down and up. Uh, and that way we'll have the whole front of this open, and I think it'll be more functional that way. But there, as you can see, there is plenty of room up here. Uh, I was a little bit concerned because we have all the trees right here, and they provide a lot of shade. Um, this black cherry tree, though, I'm pretty sure I got to take out. I was hoping to be able to save it, but I think because of where it is, I'm just going to go ahead and take that one out. I have the others. I have a poplar. I have another black cherry, and I have what I believe to be a maple tree over there. So I have three trees there that will provide good shade. But I think this one right up front here has to come out. But. So, this will give you an idea of how warped some of these deck boards are and what I'm going to have to go through to try and use them and get the warpness out of them. So, let's see if I can do something with this. Got that end square and screwed in where I want it. So now I can come every two or three joists, push this over, and put a screw in it. And uh, see if that helps take some of that out of it. Um, it should. That's the theory, anyway.
using two inch exterior screws and I'm just putting some in to tack it now once I get all the boards where I want them and in place I'll get up here and I'm going to put two screws in each on each joist on every board but this is just to get it set up be careful not to strip these. Let's get one going here. They don't want to paint in the butt. Man. All right. So there's my first board on. Let's see what we got here. Get these as tight as I can get them uh, against each other. Uh, I was gonna, I thought the conventional wisdom was to leave a, a gap in them of a, you know, a nail size gap, but after talking to Bobby, who built decks for 30 years, and Gary, my friend from YouTube who's been out here helping me with all of this. Uh, that's not the way you do it. You get them as tight as they can so when they shrink, they uh, don't they have get a natural little gap. Uh, instead of what winds up being a half inch gap. That's why it's good to get a second opinion. But yeah, I always thought, like I said, the natural, nat the normal convention is to leave a nail gap. The gap is the width of a nail.
that's it. I mean, I'm real pleased with what we got finished. And uh, like I said, I'll be out one night this week, hopefully, uh, to put the stairs on. And I'll, I'll, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to go to Lowe's. I know I'm 32 and a half inches up. So that lets me know, you know, like doing rafters, how long a stringer I need. I need five steps, uh, or four steps plus the deck to go that 32 inches. And uh, I'm going to look at Lowe's because they sell pre-cut stringers. And if I can find the size that works to where I can just mount them, I'm going to buy those because they're only, they're like $20 per stringer. And to buy the 2 by 12 and make my own, uh, you know, I'm looking at probably $15. So I'll buy those if, if they have the size that works. If not... I'll have to use my brain again, which I hate having to resort to, but I'll have to work my brain and remember how to lay out stair stringers and all my math and all that kind of crap. Uh, but I'll do a video for you on how that's done. It, it's not hard to do, but it's been 40 years since I did it, much like with the rafters. I mean, it's been so long since I'd cut them. It took me a while, even watching videos, it took me a while to, to get back in my brain all of the angles that are needed. So, I'll do the same with the, the stringers if, if I can't find a pre-made set that works. I'm hoping Lowe's has them. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll make a fun video showing you how goofy I am at trying to figure out all my math and algebraic equations and geometry and all these theories uh, you'll get some laughs out of me trying to make that one work and I'm going to need at least one extra 2 by 12 because I almost screw one up so it would actually cost me more to make my own than to actually buy them if they have some that work out here but uh, we'll see how it goes but like I said this is uh, August 6th this is Sunday and I'm getting ready to head back in. It's all too wet to try to mow anything. There's no mowing. Uh, we've had so much rain. I mean, it's cool. The temperatures are cool. But we've just had so much rain. And more rain tomorrow. And more rain next week. That's why I was anxious to get this paper on here. Because the inside of the cabin was so wet. And now to get a chance. I got it all buttoned up. Now to get a chance to dry out. And uh, I still have the solvent open. So it's going to get air. It's not going to like, it's not airtight and going to mold or anything. It'll get uh, actually dry. And uh, then we'll start, you know, figuring out what kind of floor we're going to do. We'll kind of, you know, get the insulation going. And this thing is ready for me to come out. I told Gail I'll come out and spend the nights out here. Uh, because I can stay out of the rain and I can bring an air mattress and my sleeping bag and I'm good to go. Got my fire pit right there. Life is good. Uh, but I hope y'all had a great weekend. I know. I hope the rest of it's good for you. I'm going in, getting a shower. <laughs> uh, maybe have some lunch with Gail. And then I gotta start working. Hopefully, it dries out enough at home to where I can mow. Uh, I've got a weed eat and mow at the house, and it's just as wet. It's taller than this stuff. Um, because it seems like when it's dry, it's 90 degrees and 110% humidity. And it's hard for me to get out there, get motivated to go out and do it. Now that it's cool, I thought, all right, you know, Thursday night I'll do it, Friday night I'll do it. No, it rained out both nights. Uh, last night would have been a good night, but I was out here all day. As soon as I got home, I had to fire up the grill and get, you know, get to cooking. So I didn't get to do it last night. We got rain last night. Uh, 
No sun today. I mean, if we had sun, at least it would dry things out. I don't know if they got any sun in Wheeling or not. But it's going to take the sun to dry it because it doesn't have the temperature for that. But we'll see. This is Joe out here at the cabin, St. Bernard Acres. Love and life. That is all.